Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a recycler view that can handle many different events. One of them being the moving event, so you can reorder, drag and drop the items in different places. And if you click on the item it will create a toast for the item you click on. And then I'll also show you how to add custom actions such as deleting or archiving. And finally how to add new items to the list as let's say uh, this is another item and it'll say text added successfully and it will be at the top of the list but i'd really like to specify one thing before we begin this will not be a demonstration on how to use databases none of this data will be saved as soon as you restart the app everything is going to go back to its original position and nothing will be saved so this is only about the functionality of how to create this ui and how to make it so you can actually put this data around if you want to learn how to actually keep this information in its place and save it you're going to have to start getting familiar with Room and SQLite and those kind of databases. But for now, I will show you how to get the UI part. All right, so let's get started immediately by closing this window and going to our Gradle file where we can add the dependency for this special recycler view. And we're going to place it right here in the dependencies and click on Sync Now. And once it has successfully synced, we can close this, close the Gradle scripts and go to our res file where we're gonna to go to drawable and we are going to create a few drawable files. So the first one we want to do or create is a uh, shape. So we're gonna go drawable resource file and here we will write, uh, it's gonna be called a divider for the list. So, and uh, we're gonna to go to shape as the root element and we're gonna click on okay. And inside here, we're gonna write Android and it's gonna be shape and it's gonna be a rectangle. And right under, we're gonna to go to size, and it's gonna take Android height of one DP. And then we will close that with this, and we will add a caller, which all you have to do is write solid. And with solid, we'll write Android caller. Then we're gonna add the hashtag symbol and write E1, E1, E1 which is gonna be a light gray or a almost white, maybe eggshell, I don't really know what to call it anymore. And we will close that. And this is going to create a border. That's why it's called a divider. You'll see later when we create the interface. And then next we are going to create four icons. So the first one we're gonna create is going to be a add button. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna click on the search bar and type in add. It will be a plus sign. And we're gonna change it to white. So we're gonna do choose and we're gonna click next and we're gonna click finish. Then we're gonna go here again. We're gonna to go to vector assets as before, except this time we are going to go to trash or I guess it's called uh, delete. And we're gonna click on that. We also want it to be white, so we'll do next, finish. Then we'll go create another vector asset. And this one's going to be an archive. So we're gonna click on archive. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna click on next and we are going to click on finish. And finally, we have to add the drag indicator. So we'll go one more time to vector asset. We will write in here, drag indicator. I'll click OK. And we are going to change this back to black. And then we will click on next and click on finish. And that's all we need for the drawable file. Then we can close this to keep things neat. And we can open our layout. So we're going to click on layout here. And we are going to create first the list item layout. So we're going to go new and we're going to go to layout resource file. And this is going to be a list item layout. Now we can click on OK. We're going to go to split view. And inside here, I'm just going to copy and paste my uh, layout from earlier to save some time. But I'll explain real quick what it is. So the first thing we have is a constraint layout at the top. And right under, you're going to have a linear layout, which is going to hold essentially the entire view. So it's going to be width, which is a math match parent, and the height is going to be wrap content. So you can have a background of EEE, which is a slight gray or almost white with the gravity of center, orientation to horizontal, padding of 16 dp. And we're going to ignore that it has missing constraints. Then we're going to have a text view, which is going to be essentially all the text we write inside each item. And it's going to be having an ID of item underscore text with zero dp of the layout width. And the height is going to be of wrap contents with a layout weight of one. And finally, we're going to have the drag icon, which is going to be this small icon here. It's very small. You probably don't see it. 
but it's going to be of an image view. It's going to be called ID drag icon. It's going to have wrap content and match parent for heights. And the source is going to be the IC baseline underscore drag indicator 24, the one that you have right here. Then we can go back to our layout folder and create a new layout resource file for our edit text layout. This is going to be edit underscore text underscore layout. Now we're going to click on OK. We're going to go to the split view. And inside here, it's going to be actually a lot easier. I'm going to copy and paste it and explain it real quick. But you are going to have another linear layout with orientation of vertical match parent match parent. And then we're going to insert an edit text inside here. It's going to have the idea of et underscore edit text with the layout width of match parent and the height of wrap content. We're going to give it a margin of 20 dp with an auto fill hint of sample text. And we're going to have focusable to true and focus by default to true. Although this is only available, I believe, on API level 26 and higher. So you can actually disregard that. And a hint of what are you thinking with the Android text size to 16 SP, which is my preferred preference for my phone, but it will probably be too big on your screen. So pick something that fits you. And this is going to be for our edit text dialog box. And right after that, we can go to our activity main XML and add the final bit of code for our colors. So I'm gonna copy and paste as I did before my previous layout, this one here. We will close this project window so you can actually see everything. So first thing I need to do is add this dependency for the floating action button, which will just add it down here. And essentially what I did was add a relative layout and it's gonna be match parent, match parent. Then I had this floating action button and actually we can probably make this a bit bigger so you guys can see a little bit more and let's open new let's go to drawable and in here as you can see align parent end align parent bottom true true so it will be in this right corner with the margin top and margin end at 16 dp and margin bottom 16 dp and then i had the source of ic baseline add which is our plus symbol and it will just be down here now it updated so you can finally see it as a proper button and the ripple color will be white. So when you click on it, it looks pretty nice um, as if you actually clicked on a button. Next, we have a frame layout, which is essentially gonna hold our view, our uh, recycler view in a way. And it's just match parent, match parent. And under there, you're gonna add this drag drop swipe recycler view, which is the dependency we added. It's gonna have an ID of list. It's gonna have a width of match parent, height of match parent. The swiped item color, which is gonna be for delete, is gonna be this red color, which I believe I used one of the reds from here from the material design. And it'll be called behind swiped item background color. And then we have the blue one for the archive, which is gonna be app behind swiped item background color secondary. So that's the one when you swipe to the right, you'll see the blue icon to the left, you'll see the red icon. And then here you can actually set the icons where it says behind swiped item icon, which is the First one, which is red. So I added the rubbish bin or the delete icon and I gave it a margin of 16 dp. And finally, I did it the same thing for the archive icon. So it says IC baseline archive. For the divider, you just have to do add drawable and add the divider that we just created. And it's gonna look like that. And then you're gonna have item layout, which is gonna be at layout list underscore item layout. And it's gonna take this one over here. And that is all we have to do for the UI. So I'll see you in the second part.